Hello and welcome back. This video is about making a Linux OS operating system. One of these from a distal watch. At the moment there's uh, MX Linux, Manjaro, Mint, Pop, etc. There's a huge list there where you can just click and then uh, go to the website to download it from and you just download it and then you get various ISO images downloaded uh, as, 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 as your choice that you want. Um, so basically um, this is my list Linux Mint ISO Mint 20 Mate FX XFCE Manjaro MX Normal One uh, Pop OS Cubes uh, I will avoid that because it uh, has issues on my PC and then um, Ubuntu desktop and Ubuntu mate and what I found is I couldn't find a solution on the net uh, or YouTube videos about making a very easy bootable disk until I came across Ventoy and there's lots of videos that have been made on Ventoy one of the good ones is uh, this one which talks to you about um, using the various commands and I'll summarize them in a minute and um, the command that I used didn't work and then I turned to this one uh, this one here this video which also talks about Vento and multi USB but the one command that they this uh, individual used uh, sort of did it for me so what you need to do is you basically follow the instructions here but I'll try and summarize it and this video is particularly uh, for Linux not Windows so for Linux it talks to you about all these commands which one of the video mentions where you use the sudo sh ventoid disk and then minus i and then where the disk is that you want to boot uh, install the Ventoy onto so um, what you basically want to do is find the, from the main page go to Ventoy news uh, main page and then you got uh, Ventoy news news release click on that and then it gives you the windows and Ventoy uh, link for Linux you don't want the live CD you want this one and then from here you just basically find the zip file which is the Linux one there once you've downloaded it it goes on to like this and then um, I'm gonna pause the video for a minute then basically you just extract it here and it comes up in this directory and when you're in this directory you then open that's the command you want as exactly uh, case sensitive and then if you click here right click and then open terminal it opens up terminal okay so I'm gonna just minimize that for a second and pause the video okay back to the video this is the extracted Ventoy I'm gonna now put a 32 gig uh, USB drive into the PC and it should appear there that's the Kingston one 32 gig uh, 28 gig really and what we want to do is now put this distro uh, sorry this uh, Ventoy onto that uh, using the terminal command and um, so once you open terminal so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the commands uh, for you okay back to the video so what I've done is uh, I've got the ISO images the Ventoy and I made a text file called terminal Ventoy I open that and I've actually put the Ventoy commands video uh, sorry the from the website Ventoy website the various commands and then I found this video 
uh, install should be why is that oh I should be install oops anyway I made a mistake there it should be install and then the other video which gives you the F disk command and I've copied that wrong as well why doesn't it let me edit oh here we go so install sorry about that and the F disk command okay and the F disk command basically is so what you want to do is do this command first so let's copy this sudo copy that one sudo minus L and I'll tell you why so open terminal paste it in there so you've got the dollar sudo fdisk list and what it does is it lists or it asks you for your password you do that and then it lists all the drives on your system and you want to find the Kingston one that's the data traveler that one and what you're looking for is the path this bit here and that's what the disk is dev dot sdh okay um, so if you go back to the terminal uh, to the commands from their website uh, main shot more there you go it's tricky to find it and then when he says get started uh, you find the command which is this bit this is the important bits for Linux is the sudo sh and I'll put that in the video description and then ventoy to disk so it's the shell ventoy to disk dot sh shell and these are the commands which one video talks about and you want basically to run it and install it which is minus one and then you want to put the dev this bit here which is the important bit of where you want to uh, copy the eventoid program to which is uh, that dev to um, sdh for my c in my case and then you run it and then it'll install ventoid to that disk so let's do that shall we so um, this is that's the command sdh uh, so I'm going to open my text file and it's let's see if it's in here yeah sdh okay and that so what you do is you once you've listed it and then you know which path it points to uh, and then you basically then um, what are we install d d so you've done this command and then it's found your SDH and then you want to um, pause the video for a second sorry about that okay back to the video so basically this command which is from the second video I've seen uh, shows you the path of the uh, USB so when you type in in terminal sudo fdisk minus l which is list it lists you all the parts and then you get the the uh, where the drive is and in my case it was the SDH the traveler Kingston and then what you do is th then you want to copy this command to because uh, you now know the, this bit is the USB and that's the shell command and that's to uh, install uh, sh ventoy and install it that's the command and then it'll work and if it's mounted obviously it'll wipe all the data on that USB so make sure it's uh, nothing's on there that's of value so let's do this now open terminal and in terminal I've got uh, so we do we've done the first command 
and now we need to do the second one which is this one without the sudo that's why I've copied it twice because now and I've added the dev uh, the disk so you don't need to type in the dollar because that's already there so paste that in enter and it's saying you can't load it okay so you go back to you go back to where the uh, Ventoy is this one you need to be in this directory which is the extracted files then run terminal let's close terminal so run terminal here so let's do it again in summary sudo f disk minus l and we know that path is sd dev h for my usb now you type in the second command sudo uh, i need to copy this because it's too much for writing so let's do sudo minus that one copy so now you type in oops paste it in there and it's not doing it so the reason is it's mounted so what we got to do is unmount it it's unmounted let's try that now uh, yeah no nope, it's not doing it let me pause the video I don't know what's going on here okay we are back in the video and I've worked out why it wasn't working because I've copied this wrong haven't I that's what happens when you copy it wrong I've missed out the s dot sh this bit here so let's go back put a dot in there uh, there you go that should work now so copy that apologies for this wasting time of your valuable time go back now type in that so sudo sh ventoy to disk dot sh uh, minus one that is run the install command and then put it in this path which is where the disk is let's see if this works now fingers crossed here you go now it's giving you a warning that this is the Kingston dri travel drive uh, it's 28 gig about well, 32 gig you will uh, install Ventoid to this path all the data on this this will be lost yes and it'll ask you that again just in case to double check that you haven't made a mistake which is a good thing so why we're gonna go ahead it creates the partitions and uh, give it a few seconds writing data to disk there you go it's all done now and now if you see the Kingston is now um, you know um, Kingston is now right so let's eject this eject it I'm gonna pull it out and then put it back in so if I go back to right where my ISO images are so I'm gonna put this USB stick back in with the vent toy on it there you go and there's nothing there fantastic so you may need to pull it out uh, and then put it back in and then we just copy um, all the all the well I'll open this in another window and we're just going to copy all the distro uh, distros ISO images onto the dump it in there basically the ones you want to use and boot up to and select when you put it on another d PC or laptop uh, I've got the pop OS as well uh, Ubuntu uh, as I say I've had issues with the I've had issues with the 
cubes I'm not doing that which is another operating system that uh, is very good on privacy apparently reasonably good it says now with a disclaimer so I'm gonna now pause the video and come back uh, to see what's happened and then take it from there thanks for your patience right back to the video is still copying to Ventoy all those ISO images and while that's been uh, copied I'll just show you that I managed to get the uh, Kingston Data Traveler 100 you know this USB 3 flash drive 32 gig for 366 so it's very very good price from amazon.co.uk and I've had two of those so it will fit those ISOs on this drive if anyone's interested I will put the link in the description as usual and uh, come back to the video when it's finished right I'm back to the video and it's just finished and you can see all the ISOs are in the Ventoid disk now and it's just under half so you can keep adding some more if you want and also when you want to update Ventoy just basically if a new version is released just update on the USB drive uh, as per this video uh, so just follow the instructions there hopefully that should uh, make it work as it did for me and then basically you just take the USB out and I've tested it on a laptop um, put it in the USB port and then when you run it uh, you run it through the USB uh, side of things so then it boots up into Ventoy and then you just select from the options all the different distros that you want to test uh, I believe you can I've tested them on my laptop which is very old one and um, made uh, didn't work MX pops worked so basically that's a new operating system and then you can just play around with it and see how you feel I uh, hope you like the video um, and then you s just add more ISO images from uh, DistroWatch uh, that you want to test and um, and um, yeah uh, that's basically it and I uh, hope you like the video and uh, thanks for watching bye for now